A former staff sergeant will spend the next two years in prison for stealing ammunition from Fairchild Air Force Base. The sentence follows a multi-year investigation that started with anti-government threats online. Marissa Rio is in studio to explain. According to court documents, 31-year-old John Sanger went on social media and called for an attack on the U.S. Capitol building following the 2020 election, saying, They defrauded our election system and are still getting away with it. That means the system has run its course. People have to die. Because of posts like that, the FBI and the Air Force began investigating Sanger in August of 2021, during their initial investigation, Sanger met with an undercover officer. Sanger shared his thoughts on issues involving minority groups and how he was against the COVID-19 vaccine. Sanger even mentioned attacking the Spokane Public Health Building and COVID-19 testing sites with a Molotov cocktail. In 2022, Sanger met with the officer at Fish Trap Take. There, Sanger told the officer that multiple airmen at Fair. Fairchild were stealing ammunition from the base. Sanger said the other airmen would falsify records to cover their tracks, making it look like the ammunition was used during Norman, normal Air Force duties. After explaining how the scam worked, Sanger gave the undercover office some stolen rounds. A month later, Sanger was arrested when he stopped by the undercover officer's home to pick up an unregistered suppressor he had previously paid for. One of the FBI agents involved in the investigation released a statement reading in part, like all who served the United States, Mr. Sanger took an oath when he enlisted in the military. His actions violated that oath and he violated the trust imparted to him by the American people. Once Sanger gets out of prison, he will be supervised release on supervised release for three years. In studio tonight, Marissa Rio for News Now.